I did go over just a little bit with my video, so if they cut this out, I want to make sure you see to get the name. I got this on eBay. I got a lot of what I have either on eBay or Amazon. And um, anyway, this works really good. Um, this is, I use coconut oil and I'm not sure where it's at. Oh, wait a minute, I believe it's here. Yeah. That's something else real good for your hair is the coconut oil. I keep finding stuff I oil, I, oil, I use. Uh, this is pure argon oil. Great for your hair too. This is in a dropper. And um, this is my um, Pioneer Woman container. And I have no idea why I put, this is the uh, name along with some oils and why it's hard. It's got the coconut oil in it. And um, anyway, I'm gonna get this warm and pour all this out and uh, because I wanna use my, my container. But um, if you use like the uh, coconut oil, and it gets hard in your bottle, you could um, put a little boiling water in a cup and then set your little container uh, in it uh, or bottle or whatever you use and um, let that melt. And then you could pour it on your hair. I forgot to show you with the eyebrows, they want to be massaged just like your scalp does i bought you can get three of these at dollar tree for a dollar they come in a pack it's just a toothbrush with a container these are great for this i put i open the cap on that i put a couple drops of this on here and then i just start brushing and i also brush backwards on both eyebrows and I just um, that's how I do my eyebrows is apply it with this and it works fantastically is that a word fantastically I think it is anyway I also use biotin um, I think it, it says it supports healthy uh, hair, skin, and nails, and um, I really don't have a problem with my skin. I have healthy hair, and I don't think there's anything in the world that is going to help my nails. And I meant to, um, before I go any further, I meant to show you my hair. Like I said, um, I don't really like to have it down. But I do want to show you, and a couple days ago, I cut about two inches off. I don't trim it very often, probably twice a year. And uh, I um, don't always cut two inches off. And my hair's caught in this band. So, this is it. See, I do look like a witch. But it's just enjoyable to have the long hair and I love the YouTube videos um, showing how to do all the updos and stuff. And so that's it. Now, um, I'll carry on. I found these at Walmart. And you don't want to put rubber bands in your hair at all. But I found these. They're kind of, um, they're netted and they kind of remind me of what underwear, some underwear is made out of. Super stretch. These are, are great for your hair. I 
scrunchies are great for your hair, but I don't care for the way scrunchies look that much. So, um, anyway, get you some of these if you need to. Another really good thing to do is use rice water. And this is rice water in here. Um, but what you need to do is just take like a handful of rice and put it in a bowl. Put about, well, when I say a handful of rice, get about three-fourths of a cup of rice. Put about three to four cups, depending on how long your hair is. Uh, put it in um, a bowl and then uh, just leave it sitting out overnight. And the next morning, you can uh, strain your uh, rice water off of the rice, and I'm just talking regular white long grain rice, and put it in some sort of uh, cup or um, you can funnel it into a bigger Coke bottle or whatever you want to do. Shampoo your hair and then uh, squeeze out the excess water. Then you want to flip your head over and very slowly so that you get the rice water everywhere. Put that rice water in your hair. Work it through if you need to to make sure all areas get it. Squeeze out the excess, then gently towel dry so that you don't just remove it once you just got it in and leave it. Your hair doesn't feel dirty or anything like that. The Oriental ladies do that and they have beautiful hair. And sometimes, um, I don't really save this for too long, but... Um, Sometimes I'll put a little bit in the bottle from the batch I've made. And then, um, even when my hair's dry, I'll just squirt some in it more toward the root. Uh, not enough to make it really wet, but just to dampen it a little bit and rub it in. And um, uh, anyway, that's what you do with the rice water. And I use a lot of different detanglers. Um, this is Miracle 10. My hair gets really, really tangled. I like to pull it back into a um, ponytail, then braid the ponytail at night because it will really get tangled if I don't. This is John Masters Organic Scalp detangler. I really like this. I gave away a bottle of this in a giveaway one time. Living Proof Restore Perfecting Spray. This is Dollar Tree Olive Oil Detangling. It's very good. I have two bottles of that. I have two bottles of that. Um... O-R-I-B-E Run Through Detangling Primer. This is really good to detangle. Um, I got a couple. Well, I got this. I'm thinking at the thrift store I go to. Uh, John Frieda Frizzy Shampoo for $2 a thing, which I'll um, use it. I don't really have that bad frizzes, but... Um, Anyway, I'll use it. And as far as I can think, that's everything I can think to tell you. Um, I just hope that I've said something that has helped you along with your hair growth. Um, just remember when you do your hair concoctions, if you can, be sure to use the castor oil in whatever you decide to do. And um, uh, you should condition your hair at least once a week, if possible. And um, I wish I could think of more to tell you, but 
there's just really no more. Again, that the one thing I didn't, I can't find to show you is the fenugreek. And uh, just put, be a scientist, put a few drops of this, few drops of that, make you up something. If you can put your plastic cap on and maybe blow, uh, dry your hair just a little bit to let the heat start letting your hair absorb, that would be good. But um, that is it for me. And I just want to um, emphasize I'm not a beauty expert, not a hair expert. I'm just sharing with you what I've learned through um, what I have um, tried to study and learn about. So let me know how things go for your hair if you decide to try any of this. And um, I hope that you have a great day, and I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.